Hey guys, uh, so I tried to type this out. It ended up really long. Nobody wants to read an essay, so I thought I'd do a video. Uh, this is for people that are new to Tipman, just like I am, um, and are having really big issues with your tension. Um, if you bought it used, or maybe you've already just started tinkering with it, and now it's way out of adjustment and you can't get it back, um, this might help, I hope. Um, so let me show you a little bit. So this is what my, so the red one is what my threads were looking like before. Uh, super inconsistent. The, there would be tension, no tension, tension, no tension. So the bottom was, the, the tension was just, it was horrible. I could not get it set. Um, the stitching looked like crap no matter what. So after getting really frustrated with it, I decided to uh, do what I always do, and I'm just gonna take this thing apart and figure out how it works. So I did. So I took this whole assembly apart. Um, I took the bobbin out and I um, started kind of messing with this. Here's kind of what I figured out. So obviously this is your, your pressure plate right here. That's what's holding tension on your thread. Then you have your screw right here on this side towards the front of the machine. That's to kind of, that's to unlock um, so that you can make adjustments. Um, and to, when, after you make your adjustments, it's to keep this screw from backing out. So it kind of pushes up against this one. It keeps it from backing out. Uh, this is your tension. Here's where I was having problems. My tension on the bottom right here was uh, the screw was screwed almost all the way down. And I thought, there's no way, like it's gotta, there's no way there's no tension on here because it's screwed all the way in. I can't get it any more tension. That is actually what the problem was. If you screw this screw down here too far, you will actually bend this pressure plate up. So then it won't hold tension no matter how much you tighten this. It will not hold tension. So what you need to do is back this screw out all the way until you have you go back to having no tension. So back it out till you kind of feel some tension go back on there. And then just go all the rest of the way out till there's no tension. Don't take the screw all the way out. It's kind of a pain in the butt to get it back in. But um, just back it out until there's no tension left. Then give it a few turns until you have some light tension. Once you do that, come up here and tighten these to your factory settings. I think this one's two and a half and this one's two. I may have that backwards, but I'm pretty sure it's this one's two and a half and this one's two. Once these are at your factory settings, uh, thread the machine, put some thread down here on the bottom and make some stitching. Okay, uh, do a few stitches and make very small adjustments while you're, while you're stitching. Make very small adjustments to the bobbin, um, tightening it up. Uh, I, mine were um, a quarter, I started out with a quarter of a turn. And then once I started seeing some good tension on the bottom thread, I went down even smaller to like just a hair of a turn until I was happy with what the bottom tension looked like. I didn't care about the top. I just wanted to know what the bottom tension looked like. I wanted a nice snug thread at the bottom. Um, once I got there, then I made my, my adjustments up here. When, when you get that done, do some more, do another line, and this is what you should come out with. The yellow is where I'm at now. So you can see it's a much more consistent, I've got maybe a couple of them here and there, but um, that is just gonna be me adjusting while I was stitching. But so right about there, looks really good. Got a couple where you can see I was making my adjustments, so. And then at the end. And then here's what the back looks like. So the back looks nice. 
And I know that line's not straight, but the back looks nice. There's no knot, there's no crazy chewed up leather, okay? Uh, so I hope this helps. Feel free to comment or let me know if that helped. Uh, appreciate you.